boys and girls. We've got an Ashdown Peacemaker, and it really is a peacemaker because it's not making any noise. <laughs> so it was blowing mains fuses. The owner, I think, fed in one or two fuses and decided to bring it in here. Now it's a cheap amp, but it's uh, got two EL84s as the output stage and four preamp valves. So it's got the whole mostly valve thing going on. Uh, so a lot of people will pick them up second hand for that reason. This one, uh, it's got a bit of dumb shit in it. Um, that's the face plate. You've actually got to literally remove all the knobs and the, um, the nuts off this for all the controls to even remove the chassis. Because this VU meter, which Ashdown seemed to love, even though it gives you no useful feedback at all, uh, this extension sits down beyond the baffle. Here's the cab. So you can see there's actually a dodgy cutout in the baffle where the meter body sits. So yeah, it took a bit of work just to get into the thing. Had to actually cut connections to the meter. And it's got a light bulb which was stuck to the meter. And they just glued it with hot milk glue. And bulbs get hot when they operate, so it just melted and fell off, and then you've got the full heater voltage floating around, shorting out on the chassis. Ridiculous. But anyway, so here's a good example of how to suss out if a repair is economically viable. Uh, this particular one, I'll show you what happened. When you're blowing a mains fuse, you've got to isolate the reason for that. Um, the way to do that to confirm whether or not it's a power transformer, which is a showstopper on a cheap amp. Variac, I've got a little janky setup here. This is monitoring the mains draw pre-Variac from the wall, so it'll show a little bit of uh, energizing current that the Variac itself is drawing. And then I've got the actual uh, output of the Variac being shown here on the Fluke in AC volts. So, uh, the power switches, there's a power switch on the back and a standby switch on the front. We'll turn it on and we'll see what the draw is. So that's on now. We've got four volts on the primary. We've got, six, well, we'll turn that off. We've got about six watts energizing current being drawn by the Variac. Turn that on. Slowly bring it up and watch the watts. So we're already at, we're at 25 26 volts AC and it's already drawing 12 watts or 6 watts on top of the 6 of energizing current energizing power so we're up to 40 volts and it's already drawing say uh, 15 watts and it's just going to keep going up so we're only at 50 volts there and we're already at 30 30 watts mains draw so if you um, if you plug that straight into the wall it'll just pop the fuse again straight away. So we'll unplug that to be safe. Unplug the IEC just so we know looking at the amp that everything's unplugged. And we're gonna disconnect the secondaries from the circuit board. It's got little quick connects on the spade connectors. We'll just go all the circuits at once first. So we've got a the high tension, which powers the plates on the two orange leads there, which is interesting because it says blue on the board, but that is correct. They just must have changed the colour coding on the on the uh, wires, possibly for international uh, safety standards. You got the two reds there, which are the heater. You got the yellow, two of them. That's the bipolar power supply for the op amps, and the black, which is the ground for them. So all the secondaries are disconnected now, and that there is just a link for 240 volt operation. So everything's disconnected. Literally the only thing the mains is gonna be connected to is the primary now. So we'll flick the, make sure that's on, plug it back in. Plug it back in here and then turn on the Variac again. And go again. 
got 4 volts, 20 volts, 30 volts. Let the uh, the cheapo power meter catch up. 50 volts, and we're drawing the same amount of current. So again, if we keep turning that up, it's just going to pop the fuse again. What are we at? If we set that to current mode, we're at 0.2 of an amp. 200 milliamp going up. 300 milliamp. So that's got a 500 milliamp fuse. So if we keep going, it's just going to blow the fuse again. So, buggered transformer. So that pretty much relegates this one to the trash heap. Yay for disposable amps. Aren't you glad we keep buying them? I couldn't even find the schematic for this one. It's just like even Ashdown pretends it doesn't exist like a red-headed stepchild. <laughs> uh, oh well, what do you do? So I've got to give the bad news to the customer that he's going to pay me for the bench fee regardless of uh, the amp being useless. It's always fun. What do you do, eh? Got to pay the bills. So thanks for watching, champions.